Daryl and Jason, what were they like? Explain to the people. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's been a while, Shana. You need to remind everyone what they're like. Oh, I, think I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't announce on here what they were like. Seriously, there was. They were. They were lads. Jason was a little bit quiet. He worked for us in the workshop as an apprentice motor mechanic. Very talented young guy. A lot quieter than Daryl. Very, very talented lad. And a hell of a nice guy. And, and Daryl, Daryl had been a real wild one through his, through his growing up. But the sad thing is he was starting to mature into a really good, a good person. He was growing up and uh, he was starting to, to grasp his, his racing and family and this sort of thing. And, you know, he was, he was a wild young guy. But he was a hell of a peddler and, it was, and shaping up to be a, a potential very, very good one on a national basis. But unfortunately that's gone and we've got the memories of the guys and it's good that we've got this weekend to celebrate their lives. It's obviously heart-wrenching and gut-wrenching when you lose somebody. And, uh, you know, you've got to deal with it the best way you possibly can. And, uh, you know, the life goes on and you've got to wake up the next day and continue on. So, yeah, it, it's, I think it's more a personal thing that you take with you to your, wherever you go, you know, to bed or to work or wherever it may be, so. You know, you think about it a lot, obviously you drive past or you, know, you just give a little nod of acknowledgement to the lads as you drive by, but you do, you think about it and it's one of those things, There's a lot of families have gone through it and it's not a nice thing at all. Not a day that goes by without thinking about them. It's probably a hard thing to say, but you know, it's unfortunate that, um, you know, if we, if we could have changed it, we would have. And everybody would be the same that has lost somebody in their life, you know, so. With the boys race makes it a bit more of a, probably a, a better thing, I suppose, because we haven't just lost two guys in a road accident. But having the race as a memorial or a shootout or a, a recognition of these two boys carrying now 18 years down the track and soon it'll be 28 years down the track, so remember the people and remember the, the good times. Brooks only competed in five or six of these, I think, because back in the early days when we, were, when we started racing together, he had outlaw commitments and had to go home. Uh, but now he's, he's available to race and he, he wants to win this race. He, again, he appreciates the, the family connection, the tie-up, the emotion and the sentiment behind it. Look, the people really will celebrate out of it what they want. So we've been involved in the sport for such a long time and that is something very special and, and we've known so many people through, through those years. So many people have been involved with the teams through that so many years. Some of those people may see that as a celebration of our whole family's heritage through the sport. Very proud of being a cricket here, especially in the southwest of Western Australia. Build a race team which is a uh, one of the best race teams in the country. Mate, you've got to be proud to be joined with that. The younger crew wouldn't have known these two boys, you know, and, and fair bit, like a lot of these young guys that race nowadays wouldn't have a clue who they were. I think the cricky thing, as a motorsport family from Bunbury, having the boys race, it just goes well. If we can keep it where it is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I think it, it'll hold its, um, hold its place in Speedway. Um, you know, I think uh, where, it, where it is today, it's, um, it's rated very high on the, on the Speedway calendar throughout Australia. And, and we just try and keep it where it is. <laughs> <laughs>